Hello, this is Xiao Feng again. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, please like and subscribe my channel. Today, I would like to talk about a new concept of our whole fingering pattern. What is the pattern? Let's see some examples. You can see these phrases that looks kind of hard with variables on the music sheet. Actually, are the same phrases. The only difference is that they were played on different positions. By recognizing these patterns, we try to use the same set of fingering to play the different phrases. We call these patterns. There are two different patterns. One, the phrases are the exactly the same. Two, same fingering, but different chord qualities. Traditional arhu fingering, we position our left hand vertically. We switch the position when we run out of fingers. When we play arpeggios, the traditional finger is like this. As you can see, it is hard to play the arpeggios with the traditional fingering. Pattern fingering is like this. see the pattern fingering is using same set of fingering uh, here only use one three one four of course except the first one that will use is open string here has some more examples Traditional Chinese music mostly based on the pentatonic scales. Chords or say arpeggios were rarely used. The most of traditional arhu pieces were composed on certain keys, such as D, G, F, C, B flat, etc. All traditional fingering are fine. They are enough to play the traditional pieces. But the techniques in newer art compositions and some adopted violin repertoires are hard to play by the traditional art fingerings. It would be easier to use pattern fingerings. Patterns are very commonly used technique in jazz improvisations as well. I found several books of pattern exercise in jazz training. Here are some of it.
patterns as building blocks to improvise. Patterns are like words. Once you learn enough of words, you could improvise or compose your own music. In traditional Arhu teaching, we teach notes by notes. Even if students have learned for years, they still have to learn phrase by phrase, song by songs. By learning the pattern, we'll give you a new tool of learning Arhu techniques. By recognizing the pattern and practice them, could help you practice more efficiently you will quickly see your improvement of your Arhu skills. It would give you more possibilities when you arrange the fingerings of a new piece. In the next several videos, I'm going to teach you some different patterns in details. Please subscribe my channel and turn on the notice by click the bell button if you are interested. Also, I'm going to do a quick survey here. Would you like me to teach this course in Chinese or in English? It would take less time for me to prepare the lessons in Chinese. But if there are more of you who are non-Chinese speakers, I would keep making my videos in English. Also, please leave comments, questions, if there are enough questions about the same subject, I will make video to address that. Okay, that's all for today. See you next time. Thank you so much for watching.